name is Angelina Ramirez. I'm a flamenco dancer and teaching artist. And today we're going to work on flamenco movement combinations and exercises seated. To start, we're going to kind of warm up the body a little bit, get it moving, get that blood flowing, open up the joints. To start, I want to invite you to place your feet right in front of you. And if you can, flat on the floor. And all of this at your own pace, I want you to go to one side. And then switch to the other side. Again, let's go ahead and look over to one side.
We're going to take one arm, whichever one you want, and lift it up high so that the hand is right above the head. Or maybe it's a little bit in front of your head. Okay, let's try to switch that to the other side by going here so that the hand is floating right above that head. And I'm going to ask you this arm that's out to take it back towards the front of the body. And then we go to the other side. Take this arm to meet the other arm so that both hands now are floating above the head. And then take them down, back, hands flat on your legs. Let's do that again. This time I'm going to give these arm exercises, these positions, numbers. So our first position is first position. Second position, take one arm up, floating above the head to third position, and we go to the other side to third position. That hand is floating to the side, close it from the armpit so that way it's right in front of your torso. This is fourth position, and then we're just going to switch to do the other side, to fourth position. Bring the hands up to high fifth, and then down the side to low fifth. Awesome, let's try that again. We go first, second, third, Third, fourth, fourth, high fifth. Now we're going to stay here. We're going to take one arm, bring it down the side of the body to third position, and then we're going to close it to fourth position, and then up to fifth. Ole! These are really common flamenco arms. Take the arm down the side, close to our fourth position, and then up to fifth. One more time, each side, okay? Last time, we go down the side, close to fourth, up to fifth, and last time, down the side, close to fourth, and up to fifth. Take those arms down, and Relax. Muy bien. Awesome. Okay, next we're going to learn how to make rhythmical combination sounds with our feet. All right. I had to push back just a little bit so you can see my feet. Yeah? But again, I'm going to invite you to make sure that those feet are planted right in front. And we're going to make our first sound, which we call a golpe, which is just simple, stomp. Can we do the other side? Stomp, 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 stomp. Last time, stomp. Good job, awesome. So, this rhythm, Rhythmical sound called golpe. Now we're going to do two golpes to one side and then two golpes to the other side. You ready to do that with me? So we go two golpes and then we do two golpes and then I want us to do three single golpes. Okay, can we put that pattern together? So we go one side double, the other side double, three singles, again, three singles, you can alternate now if you want to, 
So we can hear it kind of with the beat, or we call it bass, with the rhythm of this flamenco rhythm. Awesome. Okay. So you hear I put up some flamenco rhythm in our four count. Let's just kind of tap our feet back and forth. Really feel that groove of this rhythm. There are many different dances and songs that are counted in fours and flamenco. Right now, the dance song that we're working on is called Tangos. T-A-N-G-O-S. Flamencos. Tangos Flamenco. Yeah? So if we started our marking step, it would go.
We say ole. Yeah, let's finish it with a big ole. Can you say ole with me on the count of three? One, two, three. Ole. Yeah? Okay, now, before we end, let's do that combination one more time. Footwork combination, marking and arm same time combination, four times. Footwork combination, eight times. Three.